Hmm? Oh, uh, hi? <laughs> whoa, 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 slow down a minute. What are you saying? Uh huh. Start again, but look me in the eyes this time. <laughs> Bashful now, aren't we? Where'd all that bravery go? I'm certain the wall behind me isn't as pretty as my face. So let's look here, yeah? Up, up, up. You look like you're about to bolt. I'm not that scary, am I? Now, look up here and repeat what you said. Don't make me hold your chin. Good. That's better. Now, say that again, but slower now. Savor every word. Hmm. That's good. But could you back it up a bit? No, no, no. Oh, what did you say before that? Mm, no, before that too. Before the whole I've been feeling this way for a while now part. Say my name again. And the spell is broken. We're done here. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yikes. Desperation is not a good look on you, lovebird. It's, um... How do I put this gently? Ah, <laughs> laughably pathetic. Ugh. I'm feeling all sense of dignity and self-worth drain out of me just by being near you. <sighs> okay, bye now. <laughs> ah, see, there it is with that name again. Look, lovebird, I gave you a chance earlier to recognize your mistake. But it looks like you were too busy getting lost in my dreamy eyes. Take another look at me. God, don't be so embarrassed. See, let me just grab your face and... See now? And the realization is dawning. I don't know what's sadder. Your confession or the dying light in your eyes as you realize that the last... Bits of courage that you scrounged up just for this occasion were wasted on a truly fruitless and frankly humiliating endeavor. Welp, good talk. Have fun doing that all again with my brother. Oh, and uh, if it's not too much trouble, when he inevitably rejects you, do you mind snapping a pic of your reaction face for me? I'm thinking it could be a fun pick me up. Something to laugh at. You know, a reminder for whenever I'm feeling depressed or pitiful that there's always someone who's somehow more desperate and pathetic. <laughs> okay, bye for real now. Hmm. This whole chasing after me thing is really not showing me that you're all that bright. Me? Wrong twin. You, hopeless, fool, boo-hoo, wah-wah. Love is dead, and with it, your fantasies of skipping happily ever after into a flowery meadow sunset with my brother. Now leave me alone. <laughs> How do I know he'll reject you? Hmm, well, let's take a look at you, shall we? Uh, at this point, I think it'd be cruel to put it into words, though. Uh, let me try a different approach. Look, my brother is simple. He's like a puppy. An innocent, moronic puppy. 
his primary thoughts basically boil down to friends, food, and fun. He's been confessed to a hundred times over. I would know. I've been accidentally confessed to on his behalf for, like, 50% of those attempts. The guy just doesn't know the effect he has on people. So, when you give him your whole spiel, really sweet, by the way, so sweet, in fact, that it made me want to throw up, he's not going to know what to do, and so he'll reject you. Simple as that. Got it. Dreams crushed. Hope in romance and happy endings thoroughly stomped on. Nice. I'd really love to enjoy the look on your face right now, but I'm on my way to class. Have fun dying alone and whatnot. <laughs> Help you. <laughs> yeah, no. Sorry, lovebird. Tough luck. Go find some other schmuck to swoon over. The last thing I want to see is another induction of a dedicated moony-eyed idiot into my brother's personal fan club. <laughs> anything. You'll do anything. Jeez, I can't tell if you really, really like him, or if you're just really, really stupid. I guess it could be both, though, huh? Hmm. All right, then. Beg me. <laughs> oh, come on now. Let's use our grown-up nice words and try to summon up some of that cute, demure, blushing persona that you were oh so willing to show my brother. Try again. Make sure I really believe you. See, I'm still not convinced. I may require other methods of persuasion. I'll be generous, though. One more time, but bow your head a bit so you'll have to look up at me. I love the view from up here. Oh, and add in a please for good measure. Make it extra sweet. Mmm, that's the good stuff. Still a no, though. <laughs> Ooh, scary. Where'd those innocent, pleading eyes for my brother go, lovebird? <laughs> Sappy sob stories won't move me, so now you're resorting to insults now, huh? Funnily enough, this is actually working in your favor. Of course. I don't give two shits about your feelings and friendship and something more, blah blah blah, with my brother. That's actual nonsense gibberish that I'm actively tuning out. Which is really saying something, considering you're already so bland and meek that it's hard to even remember that you're still speaking to me. I swear, if I wasn't looking at you right now, it'd be like you never even existed. When I look away, peaceful bliss. When I look here, a sad bummer. Away, wow, a tree, a wall, a door. Things that actually have a presence. Here, oh, a boring lump of blah. Away, golly gee, things that are actually interesting. Here, oh, uh, who are you again? <laughs> I'm starting to like you more and more, lovebird. At least you're proving to have more backbone than the usual ilk that take interest in my brother. Hmm. I suppose I might be willing to give a few tips for how to get him to go out with you, if you give me something in exchange. What's wrong, lovebird? Where is your faith in the Power of true love. Worried about monetary extortion? That I'll ask for one of those special methods of persuasion. You know, 
even though we're identical. I think you'll find that I'm the twin that's blessed with brains, brawn, and other skills. Better parts too. <laughs> What's with the embarrassment? You've already bared your naked heart. I'm sure you wouldn't mind being extra vulnerable with me. <laughs> kidding, kidding. As if I'd ever. In all seriousness, though, anything requiring a neuron in my brother's brain to produce a single thought other than yay or ooh shiny would require nothing less than persistent, specialized effort. This is going to take some time and serious work for him to recognize you as a potential partner. I'm willing to give you some tips, set up some strategic encounters, brainstorm, whatever lovey-dovey gross thing you need if you uh, pretend to date me for a bit. Yeah, yeah, do I seem particularly jazzed about that offer? Look. There is this pretentious, smarmy, stuck-up club of absolute pricks on campus that do nothing more than flaunt their connections and, frankly, disgusting wealth. And I want to join them, obviously. <laughs> Your judgment isn't really effective on me, lovebird. I'm a finance major, after all. I'm trying to rush the club, and in order to do so, I have to prove that I'm able to fit into their privileged, gilded world. To do that, I need to show that I respect the three things they value most. Tradition, legacy, and reputation. You can argue that they have a fourth value. Kissing ass and licking boots so that you sit primly upon the lap of some top one percenter. But, I mean, that's a given, don't you think? Anyway. This group loves nothing more than when their members are able to bag a particularly nice piece of arm candy. What's the point in being rich if not to improve your image by investing in every vain, shallow aesthetic add-on? A reputable, attractive partner is just another rarer, harder-to-obtain accessory, after all. And you... fit the bill, I guess. Sort of in a weirdly charming way. Har har. See, that clever mouth of yours is exactly what those idiot elites will eat up. I mean, I'll obviously have to clean you up a bit, refine those really rough edges, but in the end, we'll have something that's almost halfway decent. I hope. That's really all I need, though. Attend a couple of events, Talk me up a bit, make me look like an enchanting, worthy candidate for their club, and I'll help you with my brother. We'll keep it a secret from him throughout our dating, and break up when the rushing period is over. Sound good? Wow, that was a very fast yes. Not much in the way of self-respect, huh? Walk with me. I can give you some starting pointers for how to slowly drop hints to my brother while on the way to class. Hold my books. <laughs> Why? What kind of lover would refuse to hold the books of their own partner? That's not very romantic of you. Need I remind you that while you absolutely need me, I could find any other pig to slap lipstick on and fill your role. Remember that the success rate of asking out my brother currently stands at 0%. I can see the gears turning in that head of yours. I'll call this off any time I feel the need to. Having a suitable partner would be nice for the club, but I'm sure I'd manage just fine without. You're the one who needs me, and so it'd be advisable to do what I want when I want it. Speak, sit, stay, heal, beg. Commands that I strongly recommend you learn, 
and, ironically, go perfectly for your aspirations of eventually dating my brother. As of now, you're my dog. Hmm. That speech made me a bit tired now. I'm suddenly feeling like I can't hold my books or my backpack anymore. Won't you be a dear? <laughs> You're actually doing it. Wow. Just what kind of spell does my brother have on you? I mean, I have my own ways of wrapping others around my finger, but he just... Uh, doesn't really matter, I guess. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, tips. The main things you want to avoid with my brother, giving into his extroverted bubbly ways. He's all too used to people fawning over him and wanting high fives, hugs, and other forms of physical closeness. Deny him that extra touch of friendliness a bit. Be a bit more aloof and reserved. He'll be confused, but intrigued. And it'll make him want to put in more effort into trying to break you out of this false shell. Another thing you should probably do is stop giving him so much attention. I don't know you that well, but I can already tell that you're the type of person to prefer one-on-one -on -one time to make someone feel special. Interesting. Yeah, I don't do that with him. Don't be too mean, but be sure to make it clear that you have more friends, more options. It'll make him want to earn your affection even more. You could also try mixing these behaviors with the complete opposite, interspersing detachment with affection. Keep him on his feet. Once he thinks he's secured you, flip the cards and distance yourself. This push-and-pull, hot-and-cold sort of approach will capture his extremely short attention span and maintain your spot at the forefront of his thoughts. Last thing, colors. We can get into his likes, dislikes, and interests later, but wardrobe is something that can be easily addressed and deployed now. My brother is... Uh, well, <laughs> you know how he is. Easily delighted and readily entertained. He loves vivid, lively things and is drawn to anything that involves excitement. Wear the brightest things you own. I see that you're partial to a monochrome, understated palette. Lots of blacks, grays, whites, and neutrals. Aren't you fun at parties? Really, you should try wearing pastels and vibrant hues. His face involuntarily lights up whenever he sees his favorite color. We can use that. Really Pavlov him into associating you with happiness. You should try wearing that light green shirt. Uh, the v-neck, not the mock neck. <laughs> really? How do I know that? Do you not remember? I was in your art appreciation elective last semester, remember? I sat, like, right behind you. I did my final presentation on Italian architecture during the Renaissance period. Wow. Not ringing any bells, huh? Your memory is just that terrible. I guess you're perfect for my brother, then. Uh, anyways, yeah. The green top. Suits your complexion, and my brother will definitely love it. Now that that unpleasant business is out of the way, let's go over some rules that you'll have to follow while dating me. No pecks, no hand-holding, no hugs. In general, no touching. No calling, texting, or contacting me unless I reach out first. No mentioning that we're together unless directly asked. No nicknames or other terms of endearment. You seem to hate the name Lovebird. So, I'll still call you that, of course. Limit your contact with anyone associated with the club, and until we break up, you will be the absolute saint. Got it? 
good. You might want to write some of that down. I don't really trust you to remember all that. Hey, watch it. You're still holding my stuff, remember? You're doing a terrible job, by the way. Look at what you dropped. Oh. Is this... No. Is this a love letter to my brother? Oh, ew. This is just... Ugh, barf. Jesus, lovebird. I wouldn't have expected you to be so cheesy. Hmm. The way you smile, the way you laugh. Ugh. You're lucky my brother didn't see this. <laughs> Would have freaked him out. Unless... Ah, uh, 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 not so fast. I'm keeping this. As, uh, <laughs> collateral of a kind. Think of it as an incentive to put on your absolute best performance for me. <laughs> it's also just so, so, so funny. <sighs> hmm. Hold on to that anger, lovebird. It looks good on you. I'll see you in, let's say, two days from now, at the pavilion, to discuss your current uh, shortcomings, both in the realm of high society etiquette and brother flirting skills. Do not be late. Oh, and lovebird, are you ever going to stop blushing? <laughs>